Hi there guys, it's Dan here from Trading College with your weekly update. Um, just looking here at the Dow Jones, um, what a sell-off we've had. Uh, really did just capitulate yesterday. Um, and um, you know, really there's no reason to uh, get in front of this uh, with here on the daily. Um, you know, it's really just pushing down. As we've seen and we're expecting on the weekly, we've always talked about this previous high, the pandemic high is potentially a target. So around about the 30,000 mark. And there's no reason why we are not gonna get there in the next few days. It uh, was a lovely sell off. It's been a great PTS push down. Um, you know, some reasonably severe swings as, uh, you know, as it's pushed down when you kind of look at something like a four hour chart. Um, but there's been some great opportunities and uh, it looks like it is just not stopping. Uh, perhaps due a bit of a pullback at some stage before we challenge that 30,000. Uh, it's always a bit of a relief rally potentially, but I wouldn't want to uh, get long anytime soon in the Dow Jones. It really is uh, capitulating, as we say, or you know, really, really bearish uh, and, and dropping very fast and hard. Um, then we just <clears throat> move over to the DAX, very similar um, in terms of a, a, a big sell-off yesterday, but it isn't similar in terms of the chart. You know, we're white here on the daily. It's just not as smooth a run as uh, the US stocks, really. US stocks are really coming off hard. They have been coming off um, in the DAX and it's been an okay trade, but it's much choppier, not as clean and as clear. Um, you know, when we when we look at some of these um, charts, you know, uh, certainly the, the daily, but we could get a big move. We've got a very flat storyteller here. So if the Dow continues down, then, you know, the DAX will probably follow and we'll turn red and maybe we'll start to challenge uh, these lows, you know, at the previous lows here at 12,400 zone. Um, then we just quickly over to NASDAQ. NASDAQ was again another really big sell off. Um, did that go? Yeah, NASDAQ was a really big sell off again yesterday, you know, down 5% on the day. Um, and, you know, we're, we're reaching a level of support here. So it's certainly locking some profits. We've always been talking about a couple of zones, really. You can see here I've got them circled. Uh, you know, initially we were down to here with this move, and now we're down into um, you know, this kind of support level. We just pop the uh, pro trading system on. Um, then, uh, you know, we can, we can <clears throat> look at the entries and you'll see that I mean, the next we've we've hit second target here. Next target is nine four fifty one. You know, it's a long way down. Don't know if we'll get there, but we're certainly at that second target. So we need to lock in some profits now, really. Um, then let's just have a very quick look at some of the other asset classes. Um, we've got uh, gold, which we were expecting a bit of a bit of a sell off here, and you know it's trying. It's red on the weekly. Um, daily is just having a bit of a pullback. We into um, you know a bit of chop here uh, as we kind of hit this key zone. I talked about this before. We had this symmetrical triangle. We've broken out. We've backed down and tested, looking for some more downside. Really, we're red here on the daily. No, you know, no reason really to get long at the moment. There's no divergence. Uh, nothing really telling us to buy this market. And perhaps we'll get a, a big move down in gold in the next few days. Um, but it's very back to the mean. Uh, and so, you know, we need to look for new sell signals in the gold market. Um, then other commodity that we're interested in really is crude. Crude, you know, it's turning white here on the daily. It's um, you know, very choppy. Um, long side was playing okay. Uh, really, it means no trade. We know it's white like that. Um, it's pretty much no trade. And so we stand aside and wait for clearer signals. So it is bullish weekly, monthly. So we don't want to stand in front of that um, and short anything unless we get a good red sell. And we kind of break these, you know, these lows here. If we break these lows uh, here in the coming sort of months, then you know, we could get more short side. But if we equally, if we break this high here, 
um, just as I printed this arrow uh, previously on this chart, you know, if we break this high, here we go to that double top zone of uh, 120, 108, um, $128. Yeah, that is the potential, but at the moment it's white. Um, generally get big moves after white candles. So uh, then other markets we're interested in, um, the dollar yen really came off quite nicely. You know, we were, we had this um, kind of, these continual sort of loss of momentum in the waves of the storyteller, you know, with these highs here, highs, and then we just really lost momentum um, down on the storyteller turning red. And we're in this trade and we, you know, potential is really to attack down to this previous high, um, you know, some way off, uh, it's a couple of hundred pips. So looking for more short side in the dollar yen. You know, yen pairs generally um, with stocks really coming down have, have come off quite nicely. CAD yen, it's not quite sort of get going. We're looking at a red PTS, looking for that to close today. Maybe we'll get some more downside in the uh, CAD yen. Um, you know, dollar related pairs have had a, a you know, reasonable, um, you know, reasonably good trade. Euro dollar, we're still interested here, we're starting to get a, um, you know, down at this really double, double bottom zone, we sort of pan out to uh, monthly, we've got a big kind of double bottom support um, here, or triple bottom really. Um, and we've had a little bounce from there and we're turning green on the daily. So we will be interested to see if we get a little bit more upside, but you know, certainly I don't want to face off to that and, uh, you know, wouldn't recommend that you do. Know, stay with the trend, but we do have a little bit of divergence here on our storyteller. So maybe we just get a bit more of a pop up and before the next leg down um, in the euro dollar. Um, so then really the markets that I'm interested in. Uh, well, one more here, just Aussie New Zealand, um, really still looking good for more long side in the Aussie New Zealand um, on the monthly. We still have that big sort of momentum trigger PTS combination, at least up to 11,200. So, you know, looking for more uh, more buying opportunities in the Aussie New Zealand. You know, wait for a green um, histogram here on the storyteller, see if we can get some more upside, um, and, you know, maybe a couple of hundred pips. And who knows, it could uh, then go into, you know, very big uptrend. That's uh, really the markets I'm interested in. Hope that's useful and uh, enjoy the rest of your trading week. Thanks, guys.